got another nice few days in store. It's BBC Hereford and Worcester, exactly half past two now. And let us get to our first guest of this afternoon. Uh, she is someone that can certainly say uh, part of her childhood is influenced in her and later life. But we, we may have been fans, all of us, of video games, different characters, perhaps a TV series or film. Uh, well, this is the story of Lempster's Laura Lake. Uh, she's a stunt professional, has been dubbed Herefordshire's own Lara Croft. She uh, is trained in all kinds of things, firearms, weapons, screen combat, currently... Uh, in training, continues her training for the British Stunt Register. Not only is she trained in combat, she's uh, only gone and landed herself a uh, lead role in a TV pilot. It's called Finders Fee. We'll get onto that. Also, a new Netflix action feature alongside Tom Hardy. Lots to talk about. And and starting, if I might, just quite simply with uh, a cool job. How'd you get into that? Oh, gosh. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. Um, so with the stunt work, I kind of fell into it actually so my background was in well is in musical theatre and then I uh, started working more as a backing dancer then I spoke to my agent a few years ago and said oh I really want to get more into tv and film and then that's when she told me about the beautiful world of stunts and through that I just started um, training with different weapons uh, learning firearms I went to do a, a course called the blast course with the British Action Academy and I just fell in love with the world I fell in love with it <laughs> And these, well, is it necessarily doing the job that uh, a Hollywood A-lister doesn't necessarily want to do? I don't know, really. Um, as in, what is the work? Say, as as a stunt person, you tend to be what the, the filling in for a, 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 a an actor who who may not want to put themselves as at much danger or isn't as well trained as you. Is that how it works? Kind of. Um, every job is slightly different and every actor is slightly different. So you have some actors that are perfectly capable of doing their own fight scenes and, you know, doing their own bits of wire work and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it's down to insurance <laughs> as well. With the insurance company um, for the production are like, absolutely not. They can't do that. So that's when, you know, we step in and we get to do all the fun stuff with, you know, fire or car stunts and um, squib work and things like that. Gotcha. Um, it's a it's a fascinating world. What I mean, what have you done so far? Oh gosh, well I'm um, I've done predominantly a lot of fight work in all honesty. So um, I'm trying to think of things that I'm allowed to talk about. <laughs> That's um, fine. Um, how do you, how do you have a a stunt fight? I, I guess ideally you you don't get hurt. No, absolutely not. So it's completely different to obviously a real fight, so like a or a boxing fight. Um, Actually, what you see a lot of the time on screen, they're actually nowhere near each other. So the punches half the time miss. Well, I say half the time, all the time miss. Um, and a lot of the kicks and things, you know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you do have to make contact because of the, where the camera angle is. Uh, but majority of the time, we, we do it all to keep each other safe. Because bear in mind, when we do a lot of filming, you know, you could be doing a take, I don't know, a good 10 to 50 times, depending on the director and what the director likes or wants. So you've got to make sure you know, that you're keeping each other safe. Let's keep you fit. It does keep you fit. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, I've got to say. And, and was this? Um, and there was a, a, a something I read on you that that suggested you're you're a, you're a kind of Lara Croft fan girl. So it was it was going to happen at some point anyway. Is that a true story? Yeah, it, it really is. So. As a child growing up, I was obsessed and obsessed to just putting it very lightly. Um, yeah, I was obsessed with Lara Croft. My mum would play it and I would mimic what Lara was doing on the screen behind her, you know, full with full sound effects. I was a, yeah, I was a bit of a nutcase of a child, really. And then my granddad added to the obsession and he would get dressed up as a butler for me and let me shoot him. He would send us to lock him in the cupboard like the game. <laughs> what, a, what it was, was to be a, what a childhood you had. I, I know. I was very, very blessed. You know, he was, my granddad was amazing. In fact, my parents are also amazing, but he would um, make me weapons and things out of bamboo and make me bows and arrows. And yeah, I was a bit of a tomboy, really. Well, we, well your grandfather, that one, or, or perhaps an, an, your other grandfather was a stunt driver though, right? Yeah, my so my other granddad was a stunt driver. So he was a stunt driver for Ford. So he did, um, they, he used to test all of their cars and um, any adverts they had coming up, he would do all the driving for it. 
It sounds like it's starting to run in the family, in fact. It may be a grandfather skipping a generation thing. My grandfather was a TV presenter uh, for a time, and, and so maybe there's something in that. Um, we don't know. But what we do know is uh, this is a wildly interesting job and has some really interesting things to talk to us about. Uh, Lemster's Laura Lake today, our guest stunt professional and dubbed as Herefordshire's own Lara Croft. More from Laura to come before three. Uh, our guest today is Lempster's Laura Lake. She's a stunt professional, has been dubbed as Herefordshire's own Lara Croft. Uh, she has, uh, well, incredibly exciting skills that she can offer any filmmaker programme, uh, series that wants her services. Uh, we've been talking this afternoon and as well as being trained in combat, she's gone and landed herself a lead role in TV pilot Finders Fee, also new Netflix action feature film Havoc alongside Tom Hardy. We talked about both starting with Finders Fee and what she can tell us. Ah, Finders Fee, I can tell you probably little bits and pieces. So my character is called Katrina. Um, it's kind of, how can I put this? She is ruthless. She's very determined. She's slightly on the edge of the darker side of ambition. <laughs> um... How else can I put this? Um, I'll try and give you just a general scope of the story, which I think I'm allowed to tell you. So there are these different relics. So it's very Lara Crofty. There's different relics around the world. And with each one has some sort of superpower or witchcraft thing related to the certain relics. And she's basically on a quest to collect them all. I gotcha. It's, it's like, it sounds like a yeah. video game. Oh. It, it, when I got the when I got the breakdown through and I had the audition come through, I nearly lost my mind. I was like, "Oh my god, this sounds amazing!" And then when I was lucky enough to actually do it, it's just yeah, it's been a real blessing. I bet. So that's a, now that's a TV thing, and, and in fact, I think the next uh, the Netflix thing is a is is a film, and and you're in that with with Tom Hardy. Is that a, a, a starring role, or are you helping with the stunt work? What's happening there? So it's, um, oh God, that was insane working on Havoc with Tom. It was insane. He is, number one, an absolute joy to work with and just so much fun on set. But um, my role on that was a small role uh, and it was predominantly with the stunt. So I, I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell you with that. Um, you had fun. You'll with, see me in it. <laughs> we'll see you in it. And you had you'll fun. <laughs> you had fun with Tom Hardy. Is that? No, yeah, we're, we're, it, was a, it was a big giggle. How often do you add an, an an extra stunt to your already extensive stunt CV? It it depends. How long is a piece of string? I mean, sometimes um, sometimes I'm super lucky and I get to do you know three or four gigs in a month, or you know sometimes things yeah. are a little bit quiet. But so um, what I meant by that was the actual. St so for example. If you've done plenty of weapon stuff, but decided well, you couldn't really ride a horse, and that might be interesting to do, um, and I think you actually can. But if, if that was if that was a thing, how 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 do you go about adding new strings to your your stunt offering shaped bow? Uh, I see, I see. So with the British Stunt Register, um, to join it, you have to have six different disciplines and they have them all online you can pick six of them and then you train in those ones um so they cover um i know you have to have a martial arts um they also cover horse riding driving gymnastics trampolining and a lot of the time once you've passed in those certain disciplines that's when they start booking you for those certain jobs if that makes sense so say if i um you know wanted to do the horse riding i'd do the horse riding discipline and then from there i'd be selected to do those jobs Gotcha. And your um, boxing, horse riding, trampolining, gymnastics, rally driving and swimming, I think, are your, are your thing. That's right? me. Gosh, you've got a really good memory. <laughs> I, I, honestly, it's imprinted. I, I, I make sure I do my research. So what, what what's the plan then? You, um, you, you've you got the, the, the films, you've got the, the TV pilot, which might, which might uh, make a series, might it? Um, it, it? It sounds like you, since making the transition, have remained busy. Are you and and will you be? Is this is this the actual um, personification of living the dream? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I've got to say, you know, every time I step on set, every time I get a an audition, even just an audition come through, I have to pinch myself and think, oh my goodness, you know, if I could tell, you know, five or six year old me that this is what she'd be doing, 
when she's older, I she'd lose her mind. If I lose my mind half the time, I go on set and I think, wow, how how lucky am I? Just the fact that, you know, I get to create and be a big kid every day. You know, I get to go to set and get to wear really cool costumes and get to play these amazing characters and tell really cool stories. And it's kind of mind boggling that people pay me to do that. <laughs> it's a real blessing. It is. And she sounds, well, she sounds like she loves it. She sounds like she's really enjoying it. And she tells a great story. So pleased to hear it. Um, that is Lempster's Laura Lake, who uh, has been billed as Herefordshire's own Lara Croft. In fact, she used to behave in that very way uh, when younger and now is trained in firearms, weapons, screen combat. She can do all sorts. I just listed them there. Uh, she's just landed herself a lead role in the TV pilot Finders Fee and Netflix action feature film Havoc alongside Tom Hardy. Uh, we've got to talk to her again, I think. Not immediately, obviously. Though.